fulfill your purpose, you will suffer the pain of persecution. Not everyone will understand why you are staying in the fight. But if your vision is locked in, you will attain that which you seek. To win any battle, you must fight as if you are already dead. Our lives are so short. There is no time to waste. The approach to combat and everyday life should be the same. We lose in life because we fail to take it seriously. We think it is a game when in reality it is warfare. And you will either suffer the pain of regret or the pain of discipline. When a soldier enters into battle, a soldier is focused, disciplined, innovative, creative, and purposeful. If we will approach our everyday lives like a trained and dedicated soldier approaches battle, we will win and not just exist. Everything you do must have meaning. You must focus and practice discipline in every moment for every task. You must discipline your thinking. You must discipline your conversation. You must establish your goals. Do not make one person the center of all your happiness. Don't make them the reason why you are happy. Because once that person walks away from your life, you're left with nothing. A man who suffers before it is necessary suffers more than is necessary. Three things cannot be long hidden, the sun, the moon, and the truth, Buddha. You can start your life over any time you want. You can start being the person you actually want to be today, right now. If you're right but you're obnoxious about it, people won't see you as the good guy. The biggest rewards in life are found outside your comfort zone. Live with it. Fear and risk are prerequisites if you want to enjoy a life of success and adventure. Jack Canfield Relentless. I gotta thank the man up top, G.O.D., because I'm nothing without him. Last but not least, I want to thank me. I want to thank me for believing in me. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work. I want to thank me for having no days off. I want to thank me for, for never quitting. But Snoop Dogg, you a bad. Do you be yourself and make sure that you love being yourself. And it's going to be roadblocks, it's going to be tribulations. But always remember, this is a life experience. Accept the experience, appreciate the experience. Find your journey, respect your journey and love it. You're going to realize it one day. That happiness was never about your job or your degree or being in a relationship. It was never about being like the others. That happiness was always about the discovery, the hope, the listening to your heart, and following it wherever it chose to go. Happiness was always about being kinder to yourself. It was always about embracing the person you were becoming. One day you will understand that happiness was always about learning how to live with yourself. That your happiness was never in the hands of others. It was always about you. It was always about you. Just shut up and let me enjoy this pain. I don't want anything to numb it. I don't want anything right now. Those times when you get up early and you work hard, 
those times when you stay up late and you work hard, those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. Um, that is actually the dream. When they saw me in the gym in the pumping iron days, they said, why is it that you're working out so hard? Five hours a day, six hours a day, and you have always a smile on your face. The others are working out. Either teach them better if it be in thy power, or if it be not, remember that for this use, to bear with them patiently, was mildness and goodness granted unto thee. The gods themselves are good unto such, yea, and in some things, as in matter of health, of wealth, of honor, are content often to further their endeavors, so good and gracious are they. And mightest thou not be so too, or tell me what doth hinder thee? Never tolerate disrespect, not even from yourself. Excuses make today easier, but tomorrow harder. Discipline makes today hard, but tomorrow easier. The mind is like water. When it's turbulent, it's difficult to see. When it's calm, everything becomes clear. Buddha Life is too short to waste time hating anyone. Do not seek, otherwise you will lose. Do not seek, and you will find. I promise myself that I will enjoy every minute of the day that is given me to live. Tishnahat Han season and pretend you're good for a lifetime. You're not making as much money as you want because you're not as good as you think you are. You're crazy until you're successful, then you're a genius. I think for a lot of people when, you know, you're grinding as a small channel, people think you're too obsessed. You're a weirdo. Stop only making videos. Like, get alive. Be realistic. You're, you know, I mean, people will convince you you're out of your mind for wanting to, to do this. But then once you're successful, they're like, yo, your drive, your tenacity was great. But it's like, yeah, well, where was that back then? You know, I didn't get that when I was a small channel. It's only delusional until it works. So is it really delusional? Once the world see it, there's nothing delusional about it. Now your delusion becomes Oh, he was a fucking genius. I tell you, the harder and harder you work in here, the harder and harder it becomes to accept the failure out there. Second place isn't an option anymore, guys. The more you give in here, the more you get out there. Why would you not want to give it at all? What else are you going to do? Are you come here and kill it right now? Or stay home on the couch? You know, watching the light pass you by. What else would you be doing right now? Taking the time off? I'm taking the time to get ahead. If it doesn't seem so, so easy to you, it's because you don't believe in yourself. You believe in yourself. You want to be in here killing it. Because it's giving you that much more of a chance because you believe you can come that. Because they don't believe they can ever get there. So therefore, why keep the precautionary steps to sharpen and, you know, and hone the arsenal to really go to battle? Because they don't even want to go to battle because they know they're going to lose. And you want to look in the mirror. Every single morning, you want a positive reinforcement or do you want a negative one go about your day? How do you want people to see you? A lot of times I'll be in a tourism mile run or something like that, and I'm all jacked up. Body's broken, mind's broken, spirit's broken. I start to say, what if I could pull this off? It's the what if I could pull off a fucking miracle. What if Book three, chapter 22, about cynicism. When one of his pupils inquired of Epictetus, and he was a person who appeared to be inclined to cynicism, what kind of person a cynic ought to be, and what was the notion of the thing? We will inquire, said Epictetus, at leisure. But I have so much to say to you that he who without God attempts so great a matter is hateful to God, and has no other purpose than to act indecently in public. For in any well-managed house no man comes forward and says to himself, I ought to be manager of the house. If he does so, the master turns round and, seeing him insolently giving orders, drags him forth and flogs